Council for Geoscience is doing a geological assessment for new mineral potential in Limpopo. The council says there are prospects of minerals in Limpopo which could be worth billions of rand. The announcement was made at the mining conference in Bulogwane, uh, that's in Limpopo. That's where we find our reporter, Pilane Pahadi, who is there. He joins us uh, live now. Pilane, good morning to you. Outline to us uh, what are some of these mineral deposits that can be found in Limpopo and uh, of what benefit would they be to the rest of South Africa? Definitely, and I could only imagine that the benefit could immediately be job imp uh, uh, jobs and employment in general, and of course the eradication of the, the triple challenges you find yourself in, uh, the poverty, unemployment, and inequality, and Limpopo really in the rural areas quite dense as far as that is concerned. But to answer your question, I'll bring in Mosa uh, Mabuza. He's the CEO of the Council for, for, for Geoscience, and uh, uh, thanking you for joining us on Newsroom 405. What is the assessment on the minerals that you're talking about? What are those minerals and where are they? So the Council for Geoscience does a precursor exploration activities. We do regional geological assessment uh, throughout the country, but we are focused now here in Limpopo. Uh, we are very excited about the potential uh, that we are seeing with preliminary information. Uh, we are seeing confirmation of extending the current minerals that are known in the country. These include gold, um, uh, but we are also looking at discovering newer minerals uh, that are going to support new industries. Uh, these span rare earth elements, uh, tin, tungsten, um, uh, magnesium. We're looking at minerals that will support agriculture in the form of fluospa. The mineral basket in Limpopo is unimaginable in our view, based on the preliminary assessment. Uh, we have done some work in the Kiani area. We are doing more work in the Bushveld Ignace complex. Uh, what did you find in the Kiani area that you, 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 are, you are assessing? Well, there are, there are three areas of potential we are looking at in Kiani. First is gold, magnesium is there, and uh, there are indications of rare earth elements as well. Uh, in the Kiani area. We're, it's an exciting project for us. When you made the announcement here uh, 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 at the conference, uh, did you feel some sort of excitement and interest from the mining bosses that may be here? There is a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, there are people who uh, are very keen to uh, access the geological IP uh, that we are generating, which uh, is indeed a, 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 it's a magnet uh, and it excites the, uh, the investment community as it were. Uh, we, are, we are pathfinders as, 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 a, as geoscientists and the rest is done uh, by the private sector activities. So there's a lot of enthusiasm that we have uh, gained here. Musa Mabuza is the CEO of uh, the, the, the Geoscience uh, Council here in South Africa. And he basically says that there is a lot of minerals that has been discovered here in Limpopo and naming uh, Guiani to be one of them and uh, with gold being discovered there. We do know that there was a lot of illegal mining that was happening in the area for some time and gold was one of the things that the people were claiming to have been able to mine. And it so seems there's been confirmation as far as that is concerned at, at Goli and now there is now that issue, like, like Mabuza is saying currently, to, that could be left to the private sector on the, the, the mining and the beneficiation of it, and perhaps it will create much needed jobs in that rural side of the province. Good news indeed. That's our reporter, Belen Bahadi, in Limpopo for us.